Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's something I was playing with today. Um, it's it's based on the idea that colours can have a value any between naught and one. Uh, that's red, green, and blue. And in any pixel, there's a minimum value, a maximum, and one in between of the red, green, and blue. And that below the minimum, they're all the same. And when they're all the same, then that's a monochrome. And above the maximum, they're all the same. So if you want to look about the colour information, it's between the minimum and the maximum. And so if you take the maximum, take away the minimum, you get saturation information. So I thought, well, let's try this. Let's go to a, um, well, before we do that, let's do a duplicate, of course. So we've got the previous one, and we'll go to filters and procedural texture. And then I'm going to hit a plus on here to add a thing, but it starts off defaults with red, setting that to zero, which is why it looks cyan. So let's turn that off. And put on the alpha, which is the transparency. And we'll put the max. Minus the min. What's that give us? Can't see because we got the bottom one on. Take the bottom away. And indeed, what it's got there, you can see it's effectively selected the not just colour by saturation. So these labels here, which are saturated colours, these because they're most supposed to catch your eye, they stand out quite well. So what if I could? Do something to play with this. Maybe I'll add a variable to this. So I put a bracket either side, and I'd like to multiply this up. And a way to multiply it is to divide by a fraction. And so we've got down here. We can add a naught to one, so it defaults to a. And so if I say divided by a, and now what we've got here is if I move this. I'm actually multiplying it by larger and larger number. So I get halfway and it's multiplying by two, quarter of the way it's multiplied by four and so on. But look what it's done here. It's selecting right out the colours. They have very much more the colour and the, the monochrome is left over. So that is kind of cool in itself. So if I go over here to the bottom layer on, I can go to the top one, for example. Uh, Put on the curves. Now I'm just in just that layer. And look at the interesting thing. Look at that nice brighten that up, but not affecting the monochrome side of it. Kind of fun, isn't it? I'm just going to delete that for the moment because I want to show you something else. Turn off the bottom one. Double click on this. If I want to see the other half of it, then I go to here and I put one minus at the beginning, which inverts it. Now look, now I've got something for selecting mostly the monochrome side. There's a bit of colour in here because it's saturation based, but basically I'm taking the saturation out and I can go down here. It, it, when it gets to zero, it, it sort of like drops out and goes back because it's the value is, is uh, you know, dividing by zero, which it doesn't like. So what you can do here is if you want to make this an increasing variable, I turn that to one minus a. Then I'm going to add uh, 0 0.001, tiny number, just to stop that divide by zero. So it's got something there. And now I go from the bottom, just move that up. Yep, there you go. I can pick it at that at any point when I get to the end. So I got all the the very darks there and just bring that down. So I got myself a little control. I can always take the one minus away there and get that one. That's it. Just a bit of fun. Thought you might find that one interesting. Just playing around with some fairly simple formulae. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.